All night long, fireworks have lit up the sky across the Las Vegas Valley, all in celebration of Independence Day, the 4th of July. Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Christiane Klein in for Denise tonight. Now, those illegal fireworks have been a problem for first responders for years, but this time around, a new plan was put in place to tackle it. And we have team coverage tonight. Orco Mana looks at the damage done by some of those explosives, but we begin with Shakela Alvarenga, who shows us just how widespread the issue is on this big holiday. Shakela. Yeah, Brian and Christiane, we are in the northeast of town and we have seen thousands of illegal fireworks here. It's really been nonstop. Just check out this incredible video from East Ridgeway. You can see just how many fireworks were being launched off throughout the city tonight. This is the busiest time of year, of course, for both police and fire. Thousands of complaints about illegal fireworks have already been made. Police are using a different approach this time around. They're trying to educate people about about the dangers of fireworks. So, each area command, they have two task force teams working tonight. Police officials held a briefing about it earlier. This isn't about how many tickets we can write. This is about educating the community, and sometimes that education is at the end of a, of a citation. Hopefully, we can get through to some people and help them understand why some of these fireworks are illegal. Hopefully, we can deter people from using them. They're illegal for a reason, so we want to make sure that we indicate why, the hazards they cause, the injuries they cause. And we have been talking to neighbors in this area who say this will go on all night, and it's evident there's just too many for police to handle. Now, we do want to remind you tonight that you can still keep lighting off those fireworks, legal fireworks, until midnight. After that, any and all fireworks will be illegal. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Thank you, Shakela. All night long, Clark County has been live tweeting the bus offices are making when it comes to illegal fireworks. These, as you take a glance at your TV, are just a few of the hauls the fire department has made so far tonight as they continue their work. 